thank you very much, Eve, and thank you for inviting me to speak tonight. And it's what a fantastic meeting, what a great turnout. Um, we know that our movement is strong because we're having meetings like this, and I know that everybody here is, this isn't all you're going to do, you're going to get out there and carry on fighting for, for your local hospital, but also for the, for the NHS, so that's really fantastic. Um, obviously I'm from Lewisham, the, the Save Lewisham Hospital campaign, I don't really probably need to remind you um, much about that, but it just, just as some echoes with what's uh, with, with Ealing, um, there was a big threat to our a and &E. it was announced in um, October 2012, and I think it's really important that the public understand that when an A&E is under threat, it's not just the A&E. The A&E is the front door to the hospital. It's where you admit emergency patients through. So it's actually where you get your, um, what we call acute, people who are seriously ill with medical or surgical or, or paediatric conditions. So those, when the A&E closes, those acute beds also close. And then you lose your intensive care unit, your critical care unit. Then of course you can't have your maternity because they need that backup in case something goes wrong. So it's like a domino effect, the whole thing starts to close. And that's why we said it's Save Lewisham Hospital campaign, not just Save Lewisham A&E, because the whole hospital can be, um, it's the prelude to the closure, which is what we saw with the Sidcut, St. Mary's, um, Queen Mary's Hospital in Sidcut, that's exactly what happened there. Um, and we actually found too that when there was a threat hanging over our hospital and maternity, the number of women going there, choosing to go there to have their babies declined, even though the maternity wasn't closed, births went right down, and we're only just beginning to pick up again now that we've saved the hospital. So that is an issue that that kind of blight that happens to any hospital under threat. But we, we fought back, um, just as you are doing. We, uh, I think the high points were the 25,000 people who demonstrated in January 2013, um, which is a phenomenal number just for a local London borough. Um, that wasn't quite enough to, to shift Jeremy Hunt uh, to change his mind, although he did a classic fudge, the same classic fudge you had, which is he said, oh, I'm not going to close the any &E after all, we're going to keep it open, it's, but it's going to be different. It's going to be what he called a small but safe a and &E. It was impossible to work out what that was. It looked as if it was really a glorified urgent care centre. The, the ED, well, apparently a &E is supposed to be called ED. That's what the, e, the ED consultants at Lewisham keep telling me. The ED consultants there said they didn't recognise this model. The College of Emergency Medicine, which sets standards for a and &E's, um, or EDs, said that they don't recognise that model, the small a and &E. What is it? An a and &E is either an a and &E or it's not. Um, so we won. We took we, we, we took Jeremy on to court, um, which we were lucky. We not lucky, I suppose, but but we had a, a legal angle, which not every campaign does have. And we had that, and we were mani we managed to win. <laughs> Government uh, appealed, and we actually won the appeal as well. And I'm interested in what John said about possibly there might be some some legal angle to the fact that they're not doing what the Independent Reconfiguration Panel said, which was that they, you can't close um, Ealing and Charing Cross a &E until you have uh, more work done to look at what that means and what suitable replacements would be in, need to be in place first. And it's not what they're doing. So there may be that you've got, you've got something there. Anyway, we won our, our appeal and, um, and for the time being our hospital is safe. So why continue? The Save Lewisham Hospital campaign has con is continuing. Because we recognise Lewisham is not in a bubble. Uh, we recognise not only the ongoing threats to our hospital as part of the overall threats from this coalition government to all hospitals and to the NHS as a, ho NHS as a whole. I mean, our hospital has to, like many others, have 6% annual cuts. As John said, in the part, you know, up until 2010 there were annual increases in hospital um, budgets. And that reflected the, the rise, the, the growing, growing need, the growing demand from um, advances in healthcare and also growing elderly population who are not a burden on it, just just a reality of our, our yes, population. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, um, 6%, 6 percent, six percent is a lot of money. Um, every single year, not just one year. You can tighten your belts maybe for one year, although I don't even think you can, but you could argue that. But for year on year on year, and it's all been done on the backs of the NHS staff. It's been done based on wage, on, on wage freezes. It's not about re, you know, redesigning healthcare services to be more efficient. It's actually just about screwing down, screwing down the, um, the wages and conditions of workers. It's on their backs that we've done that. There's also 
a lot of other things that are squeezing um, NHS financially. Of course, the private finance initiative is another big issue, and it's really affecting, for example, Bart's healthcare. It's one of the factors also in southeast London, and, and I think in King George's in North in northeast, in fact everywhere, I think, it's a, it's a major issue. So um, we also feel in Lewisham that we have to show, we have a duty to show solidarity and support, to share lessons, to share inspiration and, 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 and to actually start that kind of process of joining up, joining up, co co coalescing the, 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 the different organisations fighting for our NHS to create a movement. We need a movement, we need something really powerful. We need a 25,000 in Lewisham writ large across the country because that's going to take that kind of movement to, 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 to save our NHS. Um, I've been on the People's Commission and, and, and John has spoken about that and there's fantastic uh, materials here for you. So, I mean, just impressions for me, um, terrible fragmentation, terrible fragmentation. When you think about the, the, the gains to the NHS over the last, up, uh, at least up until 2010, and, and, and maybe carrying on a bit, is, is, is in coordination and collaboration and cooperation. There have been advances in, in cancer care, there have been advances in cardiac care, there have been advances in, in managing people with strokes, and that's all come from much more hospitals sharing and, and referring patients on and sharing.